We sell a thousand products here at Prefit Manufacturing, everything for horses and uh, even the poultry industry, dog kennels, rodeo equipment, arena groomers, some three-point stuff. We, we build a little bit of everything for farm and ranch and rodeo. Uh, but my favorite product to sell to customers by far is the squeeze chute. Uh, we offer five different squeeze chutes here at Prefit. We offer, uh, actually we offer four squeeze chutes and one cattle cage. Uh, one for the uh, any budget. If you've got a small herd, you might want a cattle cage. It just has a head gate and a cage with no squeeze. You can move up to the SO1 or the SO191. It's a little smaller chute, a few less whistles and bells. If you need the biggest chute and you've got the biggest, longest cows in the world, you want to jump up to our SC13. It's, it's taller, it's longer, it's wider, it's bigger. It's got a lot of whistles and bells. The one I'm going to show you today is our most popular chute, and this is the SO4 squeeze chute, and, and by far our number one selling chute, probably the number one selling chute in the country, maybe even the world. We ship these things all over the world. And here's what makes Prefort uh, different. There's a, there's a lot of good chutes with a lot of good features out there in the world. I've worked a lot of squeeze chutes in my life, but here's the thing that sets our squeeze chutes apart from everybody else. It's the head gate. That's the first and foremost most important thing we do. Our head gates work a little different than most. You'll notice that our head gates open, they open wide like a barn door and come closed. They're not a swinging door head gate or even a scissor head gate. And here's the reason we like this method. A swinging door head gate, the biggest problem that I have with a swinging door head gate is the fact that you've got to set it its width based on the next cow that's coming in. No cow has the same size head and neck. And so if you get it too loose and she's slopping around, she's going to hurt herself, she's thrashing. If you get it too tight, that's bad. You're cutting off blood circulation while you're working on the animal. She goes down in the chute. Uh, so what you need is a one-size-fits-all application, which this is. No matter where I stop on whatever size animal, that lock is going to catch. So no matter where it stops, it locks. So it's literally a one-size-fits-all, whether it's a 300-pound calf or a 2,000-pound bull, I'm always going to be able to get the perfect fit for that animal. So that's one factor. The other thing is, is if you've worked a lot of cows in a chute, you know that cows like to follow each other, one of them's head on the, the one of them's butt in, in front of them. And so a lot of times you don't have the opportunity to get the tailgate closed before two cows come to the chute at the same time. The problem with a swinging door head gate is you have to cock it in, you catch it, and then to release the cow you release it forward. And then you have to cock it again to catch the next cow. Well, if you have two cows pound, piled up in the chute, when you flip it forward, all the chutes, all the cows behind that cow is, is coming out. You don't have time to come back. Here, we don't have to worry about that. I don't even, a lot of times when I'm working cows, I don't even use a tailgate. I leave the tailgate wide open and let the cows stack up in the alley. The reason for that is because I can catch a cow, release it, as soon as it goes out, the next one's head's coming through, I'm just coming down and catching that cow's neck. Again, one size fits all. So we don't even theoretically have to have a tailgate, although we do. Especially when you compound it by putting a, a guillotine style tailgate on the back of a, of a squeeze chute because a lot of them will get up under that and, they're able, and they'll treat it just like the no back alley stop where it rolls down their back and then you know, you've got a mess because you got two two cows in the chute and no way to back them out. So that's one of the beauties of that particular head gate. The other thing I want to point out here is this is called an infinite locking system. These locks are so good, we're so confident in them that we guarantee them for life. This literally has a lifetime warranty. If 20 years from now this lock fails, you mail it back to us, we send you a brand new one uh, free of charge. Well, that's how much confident we have in this lock. And it, not only does it work the head gate, it also works the squeeze system. And so, wonderful locking system. We've done a lot of extensive tests on them. They're extremely durable. Uh, very, very, very uh, important. The way we restrain an animal, and I'll demonstrate it for you here in a minute, is we don't, the best way to restrain any animal is with a halter. And so, we don't like the one size fits all bars that go over the front. We like to use a halter, and so we use a piece of a seven foot long a machine twisted chain to do that. It works really good. I'm going to demonstrate that for you in a moment. This uh, head gate is so good that it works as good in automatic mode when I'm not standing here beside it. In fact, maybe even better than if I'm operating it. Okay, so this is a manual and automatic head gate. And to set it in automatic, 
I just simply flip that lever. I engage the lever, which is now going to engage this spring. I pull up. I look at the cow that I've got coming, judge the size, and now I'm going to set the size according to the cow. So now basically what I've done is kind of set a mouse trap. All right, I've put a trigger on it right up here at the top. And now when that cow comes through, what I'm going to do, especially when you're working cows by yourself, you've got to go back here, open the tailgate up, and you've got to go back here and prod her along. You can't be at the head gate. Because when a cow gets shoot sour, especially if you have her up, maybe medicating her every day for a week or two, she gets shoot sour, she doesn't want to come up here. And if you're alone, you have no way of catching her and moving her down the alley. So here's the theory. I go back here and I open the tailgate. I push that cow down the alley. She's going to see that daylight and in her cow brain, she's going to think, man, I can get through that no problem. I can squeeze my whole body through there. So she sticks her head through and of course her shoulders are wider than her head. And what she's going to do is separate these yokes just a little bit, enough to make this gravity latch fall and then the spring will pull the head gate quietly and comfortably right around her neck. So I'll show you how that would work. The cow sticks her head through, her shoulders trip the latch, then she can't go forward. So when she takes a step back, the spring pulls the head gate to uh, the, the part of her neck and it's a one size fits all. And so this is one of the only head gates that I know of that you can work manually and automatically at the same time, even when it's in, automatic mode I can still work it manually so the head gate is probably one of the best features we have in fact we have a lot of our competitors that buy this head gate and put on their shoot bodies it's a great head gate works great best concept in the world the other thing is is it's so easy to operate this entire shoot literally I can catch cows today and I'll demonstrate this for you with two fingers if you literally can can pull that that uh, head gate up then you can catch a cow because the lock is doing all the work, not you. Moving back here to the rest of the features of this uh, chute, there's a lot of stuff built in here. We obviously have safety features like a, a side exit. You pull that rope, the side exit comes open. Now, at this point, a lot of them have a rope that you pull or you have to go around the other side to close it if you're sorting animals. Uh, that gets to be a pain. And so what Bill Prefort did when he designed this chute is he wanted it to be kind of a one man band. I don't want to have to take any steps other than right where I'm at and I want to be able to operate everything on the chute. You notice how sleek and clean it is. There's no ropes and pulleys and head knocking levers sticking out everywhere for me to dodge around and have to walk around. Everything is sleek down the side of the chute. And so for me to be able to close that over there, I'm going to reach up here, grab this lever, pull down, slam it shut and then tuck it away safely out of my way. The next thing I want to talk about is the, the squeeze itself. The squeeze works on the same style of lock as I mentioned earlier uh, as the head gate does. So when I'm squeezing an animal down, literally all I have to do is pull that lever down. And now it's locked. So no matter how far I go in on the animal, it's going to lock. And the best part is when I'm done and ready to release the animal, I literally can take a finger and throw it up out of the way and release it. You know that a lot of those shoots that have the ratchets, you have to press down on it, reach up with the other hand, throw the lock release, and then let the handle fly up. You don't have that problem here. You literally can catch and release cows with two fingers. Uh, so very simple. Ladies like to operate this chute. You, it, it, people fight over who gets to work the chute. My kids help me with this chute. My 10 year old operates this chute and we don't necessarily endorse that, but under our supervision, we're experts. Our kids actually help us here on the ranch, and I know a lot of you probably do that as well. The other features of this chute are, are found on the side of it. The, one of the main ones is the contoured drop-down sides. You notice that we don't use a straight side. We use a contour in the sides. And the reason is because cows are round. They're not straight. So we want to actually uh, cup around the cow. We want to we wanna cocoon them. We want to wrap around them and hold them better that way. That way they don't tend to slide down in the chute and go down on their knees because we've got up under them and we're wrapping around them. So that's an important feature. You notice that we have five on each side. All of them have slam latches and the reason is because normally I have a tool and I want to be able to shut that without having to mess with any kind of lock. We do the same concept on the bottom. This whole bottom panel is removable. I can uh, totally take it away 
I can check for foot rot or mastitis. I can let a calf nurse, whatever I need to do on the lower extremities of this animal. And you notice that we do it in one panel, not two. A lot of shoots have two panels. The reason we don't do that is because if you had another panel right here and you reached under this cow and she kicks forward, she's gonna jerk your arm back and break uh, your arm right here above your wrist. A lot of injuries happen that way in shoot. So we want this to be completely open so that we're not in any danger there. When I'm done, I just simply shut it and uh, gravity latches do their work. And there are two of these, one on each side of the chute. Uh, the tailgate, one of the best features of the entire chute, we use a split tailgate. Just works the same way that our uh, head gate does. Opens up like a barn door. And so uh, very important that we do that. And we also have, I uh, failed to mention that one of the most important side, one of the most important uh, aspects of the side of the chute. One of the biggest problems that we face uh, when we're using a chute is, is pulling the sides in, you know, for working different size of animals. So if we're working calves or working mama cows or bulls or whatever we're doing, we have to move the sides in and out. And it's very inconvenient most of the time. You have to pull pins, beat it in with a hammer. You've got blood and mud and poop down in the bottom of it that you're dealing with. And you usually need a hammer and a crowbar to get that done. Uh, Bill Prefort came up with an ingenious floating floor system. I can literally adjust this floor in seconds, not minutes, by simply pulling the lever. So I'm going to reach up here, pull the lever. Now I've adjusted the floor all the way in for calves. Okay. If I want to adjust it back out for his mama, simply pull it, set it down. Now I've adjusted the floor back out. Now here's something, uh, here's a good reason we talk about the tailgate. We're going to move back to the tailgate. I'm going to move this setting in for calves, okay? And I'm going to show you a dilemma that we face in all tailgates and all shoots. And that's this gap right here. Because when you move that floor in for a calf, a lot of times you have this gap that the calf wants to come and stick their head through, okay? Uh, so what we did to deal with that was... We made it where you pull one pin at the top of the chute, and now when you open the tailgate, only one side opens, okay? So now you've, you've narrowed that down to the size of a calf. When you're done, simply shut the tailgate, put the pin back in place. Now, you're operating both sides again. You notice we have two operator handles. This one back here out of the way. If you have help that's actually working the tailgate, and this one up here is designed if you're working alone like I'm going to be demonstrating today, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, floor back out to the size we're going to need for today. And uh, now that I've showed you some of the features on this shoot, I'm going to let you see these features in action. We're going to actually work some cows and show you how it works. All right. I told you a while ago that... Uh, this is kind of a one-man band right here, so I can do everything I need to do without ever having to take a step. So I'm going to open up this tailgate. I'm going to show a little bit of daylight to the cow. I don't want to give it too much. I just want to show about a foot of daylight. She's going to look at that and come through. I want to work her slow, and so I don't want to make her run for it. I want to make her cautiously come up and stick her head in it. So I'm going to open that tailgate, show her a little daylight. Then I'm going to pull the squeeze. Now, you notice that I didn't even bother to shut my tailgate right here, okay? If I wanted to, I could back that calf up right there, shut that tailgate off, no problem. So since I'm by myself today, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull that tailgate open to demonstrate that you don't even need one to be able to work this chute. Now, let's say that I've got this cow in here. I've got her squeezed down. And if you'll come around here and look, I've got plenty of neck access to this animal. One of the most important things we do in a chute is vaccinate our animals. I've got total access to this animal right here. The only inconvenience I have is this squeeze bar in my way. So what we did to change, to fix that is just made it where it slides out of the way. And now I have total unobstructed access front to back of this animal. No matter what I need to do, I've got access to the animal. When I'm done and ready to let her go, I simply release the squeeze and again, you won't see this on any other chute, but again, to release this cow from being, you notice she is completely locked down and immobile. To release her, 
one finger is all it takes. Same thing on the head gate. If I wanted to let this cow go right now, all I have to do is take a couple of fingers, open the gate, she'll step right through, and then I catch the other one right behind her. If you have a swinging door tailgate, you can't do what I just did. But I can sit here all day long and let one cow out and catch the next one right behind them. And so that's the beauty of that preferred head gate and all the features that go along with this particular chute. So now I'm gonna show you the chain. Let's say that I need to have access to this animal's head. I need to work on her ear. Maybe she's got a cyst above her eye. Uh, I need to do something. This is the most dangerous piece of uh, cattle working that we do. This is one of the most dangerous things because this head is the hardest substance on earth. I'm convinced of it. You never wanna get above a head no matter what system you're using. So here's what we like to do. We like to halter the animal. So I'm gonna come around here in the front. I'm gonna put that <clears throat> chain in the tab. Now I've got leverage on this cow. I'm gonna put this chain up on her nose. I've got leverage, I'm gonna pull her down tight. I'm going over the top and locking her in. Now, you'll notice that I've got complete control now of this animal. She can't move her head. She's completely immobile. Now that's good for me and that's good for her because if I'm using a sharp surgical uh, object here to uh, pop a cyst or, or if I'm doing something in her ear that I need to do to medicate this cow. She can't hurt herself and she can't hurt me. I've got total control. When I'm done, all I got to do, pull the chain, let it fall. She's good to go. I'm done with her. I release her and she's out of there. Now, let's say I'm in a situation where I'm by myself, like I am today, and I've got a cow down the alley that doesn't want to come to the chute. So I'm going to show you now how to use the automatic head gate. The first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to engage the automatic lever, pull it up, and I'm going to set my mouse trap about right there for that size of animal. I'm going to move back here, open my tailgate, and then I'm going to be the one to move the cow forward. We're going to see if our head gate will do the work. Okay. You notice before I even got back to the chute that she stepped up here, triggered the gravity latch. It fell down. The spring pulled it nice and tight. She's standing here waiting for me by the time I got to the chute. So now I've got this cow caught. I didn't need any help back here to help push it forward, and we're good to go. A couple of final features is... I want you to be able to see that I've got total access to this animal right here. If I need to check her udders, if I need to check her feet, uh, if she's got a cut or a sore, I need a doctor. If I just need to let a calf nurse, I can do that right here on the side of the chute. Uh, so uh, it's a great working little chute. We really had great luck with it. When you're done with the animal, you're still in automatic mode, no problem. <laughs> Lift it up. Now we're back to normal. Five great shoots for you to choose from, folks. No matter what your budget is, no matter what size operation you have, Preford has a chute that's going to fit your needs. Preford shoots, they are easy on the cow and easy on the cowboy.